The Atlanta Falcons just wrapped up their first 10 days of training camp, including three padded practices, and there's a lot to talk about. With first-year head coach Raheem Morris leading the way, we've seen some surprising developments and standout performances. Before we dive into today's training camp update, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any breaking news or updates. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the upstarts. D.E. James Smith-Williams has been a revelation. From the get-go, he's been a dominant presence on the defensive line, playing both inside and as a stand-up outside linebacker. He's looking like a solid starter in our new 3-4 defense, especially in run-stopping situations and early downs. Smith-Williams, a seventh-round pick by the Commanders, has made a name for himself with his high effort, physical play. On the downside, our second-year defensive backs have struggled to secure starting spots. Defensive end Zach Harrison, cornerback Clark Phillips 3, and safety DeMarco Helms haven't excelled as expected. Harrison has gained weight and moved positions, but he remains a backup. Phillips, despite a strong camp, lost his starting cornerback spot to veteran Mike Hughes. Helms, while he has played with the starters in certain packages, hasn't secured a consistent role alongside All-Pro Jesse Bates 3. Now, let's talk about some other players on the rise. DT Eddie Goldman finally stuck around after a few false starts and is making his presence felt. He's taking on a crucial role on our defensive line, especially against the run. And Kyle Pitts is back and looking sharp. After an injury plague 2022, Pitts is healthy, happy, and nearly unguardable one-on-one. -on -one. He's clearly benefiting from having Kirk Cousins at quarterback. On the other hand, W.R. Rondale Moore, acquired from the Cardinals, hasn't lived up to expectations. While he's showing improvement, he's still working primarily with the second team and is trailing Ray Ray McLeod in the race for the starting receiver spot. Our tight end depth also looks good. Charlie Warner and Ross Dwelly, both former 49ers, have impressed in camp. Warner is emerging as a reliable blocking tight end, while Dwelly has shown good hands and playmaking ability, making him a safe bet for the roster. Finally, QB Taylor Heineke's stock is low. With Cousins and rookie Michael Penix Jr. ahead of him, Heineke's future with the Falcons is uncertain. He's seen limited action in camp and struggled in open practices, making it likely he won't make the final roster. So, Falcons fans, what do you think? Who has impressed you the most in training camp so far? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Rise up!